What's up gamers, April showers bring us a few notable video game releases. While 2024 has been consistently delivering must-play gaming experiences, April remains a month that seems to satisfy a range of genres. From fast-paced action to turn-based battles, this month will surely offer something that catches your eye. Please let us know what you're thinking about picking up in the comments below. Now, on to the list. I believe we can all agree that at some point in our gamer careers, we thought we were the greatest sniper. Whether going for a high score in Sniper Elite or landing that 360 no scope in Modern Warfare, sniping is just an inherently fun time. Children of the Sun from developer Renee Rother takes this concept and adds a puzzle twist to it, requiring players to guide a bullet through the air utilizing telekinesis and taking down groups of enemies with one shot. However, this isn't just a shooter. Children of the Sun presents a rather grim reality for our main protagonist, a girl who aims to take down a powerful cult. I mean, I have no problem with taking down evil cults, so this game was an easy recommendation for me. However, the evolving gameplay systems where new abilities are learned make you more powerful and introduce more complex level designs. This is one of those games where you'll likely be humbled by the leaderboards, even after a confident level completion. We'll definitely be looking forward to this unique title. The Adventures of Final Fantasy XVI continues with the release of the Rising Tide DLC. This content will include some expanded story elements from before the game's ending. However, the main quest explores Jill's origins and reveals more about the mysterious icon Leviathan. This DLC also seems to pack some other plot devices, considering what was teased in trailers, leaving us wondering how the hell Clive grew wings. Still, it isn't just the story elements that are arriving. An update to the overall battle system and icon usage created based on player feedback is also on the way. Quality of life improvements such as quest navigation and various other enhancements are also in the pipeline, allowing new players the chance to jump into one of the most action-centric Final Fantasy's entries to date. Be sure to let us know if you'll be jumping in to the Rising Tide DLC in the comments below. When bringing up classic JRPGs, the Suikoden series stands out for its unique battle system and narrative. The game typically includes a world on the brink of war, where players must rise up against all odds, build a team of warriors, and fight against the threats. This agency allows players to have control over the creation of their base, and the battle party allows for individual player experiences, but the series has been largely dormanted since 2006. Enter Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes, a game that ran a successful Kickstarter campaign and is comprised of members from the Suikoden development team. Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes takes place in all ran, home to several races including human, beastmen, and elves. Like Suikoden in tradition, war is on the way and players must utilize the power of Rune Lens magic to overcome the obstacles. Luckily, they don't have to do it alone, as players can enlist many other characters by completing quests for them and adding their strengths to the initiative. This is an experience that we've been waiting years for, and we're happy to know that this release is finally closing in. Publisher EA is bringing a Metroidvania adventure from developer Surgen Studios called Tales of Kenzura Zau. The game explores themes of loss and acceptance as a boy immerses himself in the adventures of his late father. Players assume the role of Zau, a young shaman who wishes to bargain with the god of death to bring his father back to life. This quest requires Zao to access cosmic powers within him and confront three powerful beings that block him from his goal. Tales of Kinzera Zao is a single-player metroidvania where players chain together various cosmic strikes to take down enemies. Abilities include time manipulation and ways to crystallize enemies using the equipped Moon Mask. However, there is also a Sun Mask that grants access to a fury of spears. Further, moves like Double Jump and Glide can also be unlocked to reach new areas of the map. We're definitely looking forward to executing some of these awesome action moves and truly discovering what this story offers. It's been eight years since the release of the criminally underrated saga Scarlet Grace. However, Square Enix is giving you all another chance to redeem yourself with the release of Saga Emerald Beyond. This new entry takes series staples such as a non-linear narrative across multiple character stories and unique events depending on player choice. Still, one interesting new system is how players can travel between 17 different worlds. During gameplay, players can choose one of six protagonists as they enter the beyond. When traveling through these worlds, new events will trigger that alter the narrative based on elements like who's in your party or randomly completed quest lines. The brilliance of Saga is that your first time through is sure to be packed with unique experiences, which also occur in battles as party members will randomly learn new skills. The developers have announced that this entry will feature a few modern systems, so hopefully this Saga game actually allows us to level grind, but 
I don't think it will. Regardless, I'm totally prepared for all the nuanced JRPG systems this adventure will likely offer. Level 5 is back, baby! Megaton Musashi W Wired is an upcoming mecha action game where players must rise to the threat of an alien invasion. During the story, players join a group known as the Rogues, who get to pilot powerful mechs to ward off incoming aliens. Players can customize their rogue with upgrades earned through completed missions. The game encourages replaying missions for rare items including custom parts, weapons, and power-up materials. Megaton Musashi W Wired is based on the anime Megaton Musashi. The game's story follows a similar plot to the anime with scenes featuring the other rogues and enemies. Further, classic super robots, Mazinger Z, Ghetto Robo, Combattler V, and Volts V can also be found within the game as collaboration characters. You know, now that I think about it, we might be more excited about just playing a level 5 game in 2024 over simply an action RPG based on an anime, but here's to hoping that the team pulls this one off. The recent passing of manga artist Akira Toriyama was a significant blow to many in this community. However, his creations will live on, and the revival of one of the more obscure releases from his portfolio is the short-lived Sandland, released in one volume in 2000. Bandai Namco had previously announced the revival of this series and also revealed an anime and video game adaptation. I know what you're thinking. Bandai has burned us before on anime licensed games, but I assure you Sandland is a genuinely enjoyable experience. While a recent demo showcased the early moments of this adventure, Sandland is shaped by players as they set forth into the open desert. Interestingly, the game's story also takes players to Forest Land, where Toriyama-san's characters and world designs are the ultimate highlight of the entire experience. The characters are each very expressive, and the customization systems for tanks and party members allow players to approach the tough battles ahead how they want. So be sure to look out for this desert gym when it launches later this month. I don't know if a Demon Slayer video game board game was on your bingo card for 2024, but you're in luck. Because Demon Slayer Sweep the Board is on the way. During gameplay, players assume the role of their favorite Demon Slayer character and roll the dice to become the strongest swordsman. The game boards are each inspired by locations in the anime and even feature day and night cycles, where players will need to prepare for battles during the day and then fight at night. While traversing these boards, players will enter mini games that require them to swing the Joy-Con to whatever instructions were provided. There are modes for up to 4 player multiplayer, local and online, allowing players to test their skills while trying not to hit each other with their Joy-Con. This is a pretty strange release, but one that reminds us that friends are essential to have. And for those of you who are lucky enough to have them, this game will either make you closer or hate each other, which is just the nature of these party games. With that said, have a good time. As a Souls-like genre is typically presented in a gothic and grim setting, another crab's treasure is here to show us that we can get our asses kicked even in a colorful world with a crab. In this upcoming adventure, players control Krill, a hermit crab, in search of his shell. However, to supplement his lack of a home, he can use trash and other items found on the ocean floor to protect him from danger. While this may raise environmental concerns, at least this garbage will be used for good. During gameplay, players can equip various swords, but most of the experience depends on the equipped shells. Other mechanics allow players to grapple and swim across the ocean, emphasizing challenging combat encounters and boss battles. As you discover new umami techniques, players can progress this underdog narrative and reach new areas. And if you're worried about the difficulty, this is one Souls-like with options that make the action easier. But the challenge is there if you want it. Come for Eve, stay for the action. Oh, who am I kidding? We're all staying for Eve too. Stellar Blade is an upcoming action game from developer ShiftUp. The game features character designs by Kim Hyung Tai, who you might know from the Magna Carta series or Blade and Soul. This game features exceptionally defined character models that mirror the developer's other titles, where the designs of the characters themselves are supposed to move or make the player feel a specific way. But if you're looking for narrative, this game follows Eve as she fights against the Natiba to take back Earth. We recently played through a free demo and found the action systems were very responsive and fun. Stellar Blade has managed to excite us beyond the visual eye candy of its environments and character models. Many may be divided on this game, but don't listen to them. Follow your heart. If you like sci-fi, fast action, and cute girls in exosuits that would make even Gantz lovers blush, Stellar Blade is probably for you. And there's our list of 10 games releasing in April 2024 that you should probably have on your wish list. Be sure to tell us what you're looking forward to and which games you plan on getting from this list. Also, let us know if we missed any. We're always down to be getting more games on our radar. Thanks for watching.
Mais, 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 mais,